What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Triple THS Powered by G Fuel from Gamma Labs. I'm the ET video game of MMA, Tommy Toehold. Today, the Hitman Bleeds, the Cat Meows, the Toothpick and the Wall Kick Square Off in Brewtown, and Rob Curtis gears up for Friday. Plus, a viewer comment of the week. And stick around to the end of the episode for the rundown on the Gamma Labs Ultimate Combat Warrior Contest. Let's do this shit! <laughs> Start your engines, fight fans! UFC headed to the Ben Stein of the United States, Indianapolis, Wednesday, for Fox Sports 1's second offering. And yours truly was in attendance. The car kicked off with a Nolo Contendera via Silva Sun and 2. Zach Cummings used Black Magic Jiu Jitsu for a 50G sub. The Kansas City Bandits stole James Head's lunch money. Elkins took one for the Hoosier State. Discount Conor McGregor blasted Fast Eddie. And Dylan Andrews watched his fight from the front row till round 3, then murdered Popeye the Sailor Man. Which led to the main card, where the Flying Hawaiian kicked Bubba in his McDick. Mizugaki split with Nacho Libre. Court McGee built a barn made of fists. Tony Montana went gangster on Brian Melancholy, and two Anyos stole Donald Cerrone's soul. Then it was rematch time in the main event, but 09 Carlos Condit couldn't hold 2013's mitts, and he beat the brakes off the Dutchman, who then proceeded to bleed like the elevator in The Shining. Now, as I mentioned before, I was in attendance for these fights. Wouldn't you know it, everybody's favorite MMA fan sat right behind me the entire night. MMA Bar Guy. Did you have a good time, MMA Bar Guy? And what was it like leaving the bar? It fucking sucked, bro. The beers cost too much. These fighters are fucking pussies. I was all like, stop being a fucking bitch, Campman. Nobody wants to see that red wrestling shit. I swear to god he looked at me but he didn't want to go bro. Six time street world champion bro. Got the eye of the fucking tiger. Ask anybody. I knocked out Tyson in his prime at a Denny's off 465 bro. I swear to god. Yeah sure you did. What fight are you most looking forward to next? GSP and Hendricks bro. I'm tired of St. Pierre being a typical Jackson fighter point bitch. Oh I'm gonna do stuff that makes me win instead of banging from my hip. Pussies man. Go out on your fucking shield bro. Wrestling doesn't work in the streets. You're a fucking idiot. Thanks for screaming in my ear the entire night Wednesday. Let me bang, bro! Or sis. Tough 18 starts this Wednesday, and this time around, vaginas and penises alike will be competing for a spot on the UFC roster. Based on the previews, it looks like Ronda and Misha still hate the fuck out of each other, and door pocalypse will surely begin by week three. Filming took place back in June, so expect the first tough baby to be born sometime in January. Kat Singano was set to coach against the rowdy one after fixing Misha Tate's nose, but suffered a spontaneous knee explosion at the hands of how fucking awesome it would be to see Rousey and Tate have to live in the same space for six weeks. Cat, how's the knee? It's not perfect. But it's better. Are you excited for this season of Tough? Meow. Does that mean yes and cat? Meow. How do you see the rematch between Ronda and Misha going? Are you kidding me? I'd be fee lying if I said anybody but Ronda. Ha! <laughs> cat puns. If I left a small box out without a lid, would you adorably find a way to fit into it? Meow. Ain't gonna be no rematch. It was just three short years ago that Showtime Pettis jumped off the cage wall to ruin any achievement Benson Henderson could possibly attain for the rest of his life. Since then, Bendo's become the lightweight goat, and Pettis has been in 13 title fights that were all canceled. Smash cut to this Saturday, and Bendo gets a chance to redeem the kick you have to admit you're kind of sick of seeing. And Showtime will get his first UFC title fight, which he still may trade in if Gustafson pulls out of the Jones fight by tomorrow. Bendo, why are you standing in the middle of a field? Um, for my hotel accommodations. I asked them to stick me in a place that had no walls. Nothing for people to kick off of. Speaking of that, you were the most decorated lightweight champion of all time, an inspiration to toothpick chewers the world over, but all anyone cares about is that fucking kick. Do you feel a little shafted, champ? I really do. Is this how I'm gonna be remembered my entire life? I don't know, let's take a look. Ariel, let's go with you. Um, you instigating son of a bitch. Next reporter. Uh, this one's for Benson. Uh, this is a two-part question. Congratulations on avenging your loss. Does the Showtime kick still haunt you in your dreams at night? And can I get an autographed picture of the kick for my kids to sell on eBay? Ben, you just defeated Frankie Edgar for the 12th time via split decision. Now take us through that WEC Showtime kick on the repeat real quick. 
We can fix education. We can bring in better teachers so that everyone can succeed. My plan requires no more spending than our current model. Do we really want someone who gets knocked out by a kick off a wall as our president? Come on in, Ben. You've led a good life. Oh, shit. Have you seen this wall kick on you? Me damn. Viewer comment time! Each week you make comments about the show, because that's what the internet is for. Raw feedback from people who stopped giving fucks back in 1992. This week's greatest observation comes to us from Aaron Jester, who said, If your show was an economy, would you advocate quantitative easing and continued intervention, or would you just let the free market forces drive the show into the ground like the pile of poop it is? I like this comment for two reasons. The economy joke is high-level comedy, and then the word poop is funny because poop is funny. Well done, Aaron. That's show fight fans! Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all the stuff that goes on on those things. Big-ass thanks to all my awesome friends on these two walls of logos, Another big ass thanks to Bruce Buffer and It's Time Industries. Happy birthday, Blake. Go to TripleTHS.com, buy a Beanie Gee Patcher t shirt, take a badass picture right after your fight, or hang out with Paul Heyman, or be Pat Barry, or do any other cool shit, and I'll put you on the show. If you want a chance to have your creation on Triple THS and a shit ton of Gamma Labs awesomeness, send a graphic of your ultimate combat warrior to contest at GammaLabs.net. Name that motherfucker, then submit a bio describing all the awesomeness that is your warrior. The contest will end in a few weeks or so, so get that shit going now. Official rules in the description below. And if you click on Vandy's face, It'll take you to another video all about it. Tune in next Wednesday. Me and Julie Kenzie are going to be teaching you how to make the perfect paper airplane. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. You are not your fucking khakis.